All right, this is going to be a reading for Aries. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or wherever you have Aries placements. Let's see, what is the T for Aries for mid-December 2022? Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, so what do we got for Aries, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high? You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Aries. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. <clears throat> All right, romantic love affair. Sex, fix, secret lover, and fuck buddy, and curious about you. All right, so... All right. Um, someone here may be curious about having some type of romantic affair uh, or, you know, testing the waters outside of a relationship, whether that's you or someone you're connected to. I'm not sure. So we also have dirt digging. That was two cards. So I'm just going to take single cards. What else do we have for Aries spirit? What else do we have for Aries? What else do we have for the sign of Aries? Spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So someone here is looking for dirt on you or vice versa. This could be something that you're doing to somebody. And then we have dust it off. Okay. Somebody here is a spiritual hater. Right. They don't, you know, there could be a clash of, of you know, belief systems. Um, just dust it off. Dust it off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. Try again. All right, so let's see. Bankrupt shown itself. Single cards, two more. Thank you, thank you. So we've got looking you up, researching you, studying you, and getting info. Damn, you really got someone like on that ass, Aries. And last chances, they lost their chance, or you did, and shine. <laughs> That's funny as shit, shine. Your light irritates their demons. And that's funny because y'all got a spiritual hater coming out as well. So confirmation. All right. You got someone here who hates on your light only because it irritates their demons. All right. Someone's looking you up, trying to dig up dirt on you, researching you, studying you, trying to trying to see how you do what you do. I don't know. But this could be someone who lost their chance with you, lost their chance, or you did, or someone who you lost your chance with. I'm not sure. Uh, someone done had their last chance. So let's go around. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Who is this that's digging up dirt on my Aries here, Spirit? Please give Aries clarity and guidance for mid-December. Who is this digging up dirt? Or vice versa. Who is this that's digging up dirt? <clears throat> And why? Want us some more information on this dirt digging, please? All right, some more information on this dirt digging. Queen of Swords could be another, or not another, but it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be someone who works in the government or just someone who you know this could even be someone who's older doesn't have to be or someone who you're divorced from or separated from or someone who's widowed okay who else why else why is this person looking up airy looking up see page of swords air energy again someone is seriously doing some i'm gonna leave that out someone here is doing some spying they're looking or this is you who, and you got your air, you got your air, you got your eye on an ear. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't speak. You got your eye on an air sign. You got your eye on an ear sign. I don't know. Okay, someone's eyes and ears may be wide open. Okay. All right, yeah, they are. <laughs> All right, so the hermit. This is, you know, someone who's very spiritual, someone who's very wise beyond their years, someone who listens to their internal guidance, who follows their light, okay? This this spirit, this guide, this Virgo, whoever, this is someone who follows their internal guidance, their higher self, okay? This is someone who stays to themselves. This is also an investigator. Good Lord. Does someone got an investigator here? 
Because the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and Page of Swords, that's like straight up investigator vibes. I did say some type of government pull or some type of government ranking or did I say that if I didn't? I am now Queen of Swords. Okay. Aries. Someone hire an investigator or hire someone to look into a situation. Okay. I don't necessarily know why, but maybe we'll figure it out. This could just be someone that fucking hates your, hates your, that's so petty. So if this is someone that doesn't share the same belief systems as you, this person's like out to get you because I don't know. They just, they don't believe what you believe in. Um, they got, I did, that's crazy. Cause I did see happiness hater too. When I was shuffling that deck, I seen happiness hater. This is someone who may hate on your happiness. Cause I keep getting that. Yeah. Three of swords, four of wands, emperor. This could be a father figure an air an Aries. 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 I am reading for Aries. This could be someone who's heartbroken over you. <clears throat> because you're happy. Show me spiritual hater. Who's this spiritual hater? Hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. Nine of swords reversed. Six of Pentacles, King of Cups, and Nine of Swords reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming out. Scorpio with the King of Cups and the Tower, both Scorpio energy. I don't know if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Um, someone here may be like, someone here ain't worried about something though. Or maybe someone has nothing to worry about. If someone's paying somebody... Someone here is very loving, very nurturing, very kind, very giving, very gifted. Thank you. Intuitive. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this could be you. You may have water in your chart. Okay, someone here is very gifted. All right, someone here has money coming in, money going out. Someone's being patronized. Um, again, I'm getting gifted with this. Someone here is very, you know, the King of Cups is, you know, someone who's like a therapist, someone who's easy to talk to, someone who's intuitive, has a lot of deep emotions, however, doesn't wear them on his sleeve, someone who's empathetic, okay? Um, I wouldn't worry about whatever this is because, yeah, Nine of Swords reverse. I wouldn't worry about this. Or I feel like you don't have anything to worry about or you're just fucking unbothered, you know? All right. Your light just irritates these people. Yeah, thank you. Dust it off. Just dust it off. Nine of Swords reverse. Don't even worry about this shit. Period. Why is dust it off here for Pisces? Not for Pisces, for Aries, excuse me. All right, why is dust it off here for Pisces? <laughs> oh my God, I said it again. Spirit. We were reading for Aries. Maybe you guys are dealing with the Pisces. I read for Pisces a lot. So if I do say that, forgive me. Please cleanse that energy out of this room. Thank you. Aries. Aries. We're reading for Aries. I read a lot for Pisces, guys. So if I ever say that, just know. I, and I'm reading for Aries and Spirit knows that. I know that. <clears throat> Looking for candy. Oh. All right, so let's see. Why is dusted off here for Aries? Why is dusted off here for Aries? <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Temperance, yeah. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, or this could be someone you're dealing with, if this is you, Aries, I'm not sure. Someone here is an earth angel. Someone here is very patient, very grounded, very balanced. And someone may be trying to cause some type of a harsh, painful ending. 
Again, I wouldn't really worry about it. Dust the shit off. You have angelic protection around you or whoever is trying to do this to someone. Someone has someone's highly protected here. Someone's stability, their business, their finances, their home, their whatever is protected here. It's being it's being watched over. Show me looking you up. Seven of coins coming out sideways. Researching you, studying you, getting info on Aries. What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? Looking you up in mid-December. Five of Cups. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who's younger. doesn't have to be. But I feel like someone here is regretting either not investing into a situation or someone here has spent a lot of time, maybe made some poor investments. They're looking at these things, feeling <clears throat> whatever they were investing into. They're looking at these things and realizing that, you know, they... I don't know if you guys can see my rabbit back there, but... She's chasing a balloon around because that's what she does. <laughs> She's crazy. Um, yeah, someone here, <laughs> someone here is a star. Someone's on like a world. This is like a worldly stage. Okay. Worldwide stage or someone here is in the public eye online. Um, someone here is very successful. Someone's very fucking stable. All right, someone here is a star having, you know, some type of passionate new opportunities or there's just <clears throat> someone maybe wanting a, a passionate new start. we got Aquarius. we got fixed sign energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Someone, someone here is looking into a situation and or looking into like whatever time it is that they've invested into something. And, and I feel like, it's, how do I say this? Like, Someone's investments may be going under and they're starting to regret something. Someone here is like looking for information or they're planning. What is this page of wands? Two of cups. Yeah, someone here. Exactly. Someone, this could have been someone who was investing into like another person, another situation. Yeah, three of swords because the three cups down here are spilt. And there's two cups still standing behind this person, but they're not seeing it. So it's like this person's looking at another situation that they were invested into. And they're realizing that it's five of swords, the high priestess and five or three of swords, high priestess, whatever. Three of swords, five of swords, high priestess. OK, so there could be like some secret jealousy, some some lies, some rumors being spread. There could have been like a side piece or a side mistress here who is playing mind games, trying to win at all costs. Someone's wanting to communicate and put in the work and have some type of a new opportunity. Moving away. Someone's moving away in like secret, maybe towards a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone's optimistic or they're planning or they're wanting to send a message here to a soulmate. <clears throat> Is someone who they see as their soulmate, their two of cups. Someone's looking someone else up. They're, re they're realizing that something that they were invested into is uh, a bad investment. Something is folding or turning. There's a betrayal here. Yeah, Aries, you may be the one that's walking away from a situation and taking your offer elsewhere. Ooh, look at this shit. Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, uh, King of Wands. You may be taking your, I was saying this is you too, taking your offer elsewhere towards a soulmate, a true pair, King to the Queen of Wands. Could be another fire sign, doesn't have to be. They lost their chance or you did. Yeah, someone here lost their chance. This could have been someone that was hating on someone's spirituality. 
someone's light irritated someone's demons. And I feel like someone was like investigating, spying, trying to get information. Could have been a Virgo or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And trying to dig up some type of dirt on someone. Could have been a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone may even, even have paid somebody, but somebody's like unbothered. They ain't even worried about this. Someone may be coming out of anxiety, sleepless nights as well, wanting to give to a situation, wanting some type of equal give and take because they see someone or someone's realizing they love somebody or they have a lot of love for somebody and that someone here is just a spiritual hater. I feel like someone's dusting shit off. Like, like I feel like if someone's trying to do something to someone, someone keeps like winning, okay? With this temperance, king of pentacles, ten of swords, it's like, I don't know, what is this ten of swords? The eight of swords. Yeah, it's like someone's trying to like keep somebody stuck, trapped or bound or in their head and make them feel rejected. Someone's in their head. Someone may also feel betrayed. If you've rejected somebody, someone's up in their head about this. They feel betrayed. Because I feel like you just dusted something off. You're very patient. You're balanced. You're grounded. You're stable. Like you just keep going like the Energizer, <laughs> like the Energizer Bunny. All right, last chance. What is this last chance? They lost their chance or you did for Aries, please. The Hangman could be a Pisces, okay? They lost their chance or you did. Yeah, and the moon coming out sideways and the Wheel of Fortune. Something's shifting here. Secrets are coming out. Whatever was hidden, someone's getting clarity on this. Someone's gotten clarity. Someone's very enlightened here about something some type of secrets came out again pisces cancer energy what's done in the dark is coming to the light someone's lost their chance due to some type of secrets because someone's very enlightened about something here the ace of swords yeah someone's gotten clarity somebody knows the truth Somebody knows the truth, I feel like. What do they know the truth about? Whether this is you or someone else, the Page of Cups. Could be a younger water sign or about a, an apology, a baby, an emotional... What is this Page of Cups? An emotional offer for Four of Pentacles. Someone may have been holding back or being greedy or stingy with time, energy, money, resources. Maybe when it came to a child or when it came to... Um, why is the Four of Pentacles here? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone here has been holding on to a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe someone who's younger. I don't know if this is you, Aries, or this is whoever you're dealing with is. Someone's been holding on to someone and someone knows. Someone's gotten clarity about this. Someone's been trying to keep this hidden, but it's known. It's known. What's this Seven of Pentacles coming out sideways? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Someone's wanting to come in and apologize, offer something, send some type of a message. They're crying over spilled milk. They regret something or regret something that they've been investing into because they realize it was a bad investment. Yeah. Bad investment, the devil. Could it even have been a work situation? Like someone was invest like working on something that was like toxic and binding here. And now they feel guarded. They want to communicate, but it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again with this Queen of Cups. Someone's walking away. I feel like a soulmate may be walking away. But someone's like ready to chase after someone. This could be someone who <clears throat> Someone rejected, betrayed, tried to keep them stuck. But this person, like, is very protected, very stable, very grounded. Someone who's loyal, committed, good parent, a good spouse with this King of Cups, King of Pentacles. I don't know who you are, where you are in this situation, Aries. Really, um, you guys know your story better than me. But I feel like there was a clash of, like, belief systems here. And, uh...
What was someone investigating over here? Or looking into the Emperor Reverse? Yikes. Aries energy. This could have been a family dynamic. The Emperor Reverse. Someone may have lost control in a marriage. Or somebody may have been trying to control a family. Or control you. This could be someone in your family who was controlling. You could have been controlling. Someone here may not have been a good parent, a good spouse. Someone could have been abusive. Um... Abusing their power and authority when it came to some type of family dynamic or or happiness here. Two of Pentacles. Because someone someone was going back and forth between two. We have Taurus coming out now. We also have Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer. Somebody may have been like married to someone who was like a gold digger, like where both people were cheating. And now someone's realizing like that someone is stable and grounded. Somebody may have been investigating, looking for dirt on someone. Could have been on you because the emperor reverse. Or Virgo. And someone found out that someone here was like not loyal, non-committal. Someone was, you know, being like a gold digger. Okay. This is someone who is hating on someone's like belief systems. All right, so I'm going to leave this reading here. Let's get a few oracle cards. If this resonates or helped or gave you any clarity or guidance on what's going on in your situation, drop a comment. Let me know how this uh, reading resonated with you. Aries, um, <clears throat> palm tree in the reverse, stability, security, performance, growth, uh, endurance, flexibility. So somebody here is not stable, could be this queen of pentacles, maybe someone who, you know, someone's married to, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Yeah, so I don't know how you're really involved in this situation. You could be holding on to a water sign, Aries. The boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So, yeah, someone here may be moving on, maybe receiving the information that they need. Somebody could have been abusing their power and their authority when it came to some type of family dynamic. Because they, someone may have been married to someone who was, like, greedy. Someone who was juggling. Yeah, this could go so many ways, y'all. So I don't know if, like, the woman here was juggling or your woman was juggling or you were juggling. I don't know who. But someone here was, like, <clears throat> this could have even have been a relationship based out of finances. Like, this woman could have been with the King of Pentacles and betrayed this King of Pentacles. Someone who is very patient, very balanced, a good father, a good parent. Good spouse. And the feminine could have betrayed this person. There's a water sign over here that's not even worried about a situation. Like, ain't no worry. 
Honestly. Someone here is very gifted. I don't know who you are here, Aries, but... Someone here has received the clarity in their, in their, there's no more chances. This could be you. Maybe you're holding on to a water sign and not giving someone another chance. Maybe you see somebody as a gold digger because the kings are coming up in the upright. There's an emperor in the reverse. So I don't know, is this a baby's father? Like, does someone have another baby father? Or was someone cheating with their baby father? Oh. Yeah. This Queen of Pentacles could have been the one getting investigated, whoever she is. She could have been cheating with like a baby father or someone she shared, has a family with. And there's a masculine here who could be very spiritual, very gifted, connected to source. And I feel like he's just dusting the shit off because I feel like intuitively... He may have known something and he may be holding on to a water sign. <clears throat> or you may be holding on to a water sign and you may have found out like the person you were married to was cheating with their child's father. And you may have had an investigator look into the situation or someone else who's not emotionally Queen of Swords, who's not emotionally invested into this situation. The Hermit is, is an investigator, a spiritual investigator. It could be one in the 3D as well with the Page of Swords. And someone, it's like you're very gifted. Someone here was gifted and they knew this and they're not giving someone another chance. They're going to offer, your, or you, whoever, is going to offer their love somewhere else. Someone that they were holding on to. All right, Aries, that's the story. Um, let me know how it resonates with you, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Smash that thumbs up if you did enjoy or it gave you any clarity. See ya.